it's Owl Crate time. Who's excited? I miss doing like a separate Owl Crate unboxing for last month. I just lumped it into a book haul and it didn't feel right to me. So I'm here to do a full Owl Crate unboxing. I'm really excited for this one. I can't wait to see what's in it because it's all gonna be like fantasy stuff, which I am really into. A lot of you guys were asking about um, my box from last month. This is what the back of it looks like. I watched one of their live streams sometime earlier this month or late last month. They said that they are rolling out with new boxes with this new design on the back and there's a new thing on the inside cover, but they are like kind of phasing out their older boxes. So they're coming like mixed. So some people are getting the new ones, some people are getting the old ones. Just figured I would address it. That's what's going on. But I am just so excited to get into this. So I'm just gonna cut right in or we're gonna get into this unboxing. How many times do I say that I'm excited in my videos? A lot. I am genuinely excited in a, like all of my videos. Book stuff is just the most exciting thing ever. I can't open this. There we go, okay. Um, but I am legitimately excited when I do all of these videos, but ooh. So this is what the inside of the box looks like now. It has like a new like guide to unboxing thing that they included, which is just super cute and friendly looking. This month's theme is Ruthless Royals. I knew it was something with royalty. I couldn't remember how they phrased it, but this card is so super cute. Oh my gosh, they both have knives behind their back. Look at this card. Look how cute that is. Like we've got like the dark queen and the like Glinda looking queen and they both are holding knives behind their backs. I love it. And we got some white squiggles this month. We've got a bunch of bigger looking things, which is surprising. So I'm just going to dive right into this and I'll show you everything. Oh, what is this? What is this? Okay, I'm gonna do this one first because I'm intrigued by it. There's squiggles everywhere. So this is the little pink pouch that has Oswald, their little owl symbol and owl crate on there, but it's like a little velvet pouch. It's actually very nice. And this, what is this? Oh man, it's shut in here. Hold on. Oh, okay. This is a mirror. Yes, it's a mirror that says, may you always find beauty. And this is from The Bells by Daniel Clayton, which I read recently. It was a very like super unique YA fantasy story. I really liked the take on it. This is just what it looks like. That's really gorgeous on the front. And then to see you guys, oh, there you are. You're in the mirror. I'm trying to not blind you by all my lights, but there you are. So we have a like magnified mirror and a regular mirror. Okay, there we go. Okay, the next thing I'm pulling out is in this little box and it says genuine, oh shoot, I always forget how to say this. It's gemstone, agate, 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 I forget. That's how it's spelled. Just give me a pronunciation guide because I'm not sounding intelligent in this video. But this, what is this? Is it, oh, it's a ring. Oh man, this is actually pretty nifty. It's just a solid huge gemstone on like a brass adjustable ring. This is pretty bitchin' for costume jewelry. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, they're different on the back. This is so cute. We have bookmarks from Crafted Van, which is like possibly my favorite magnetic bookmark company. And they are little tiny villains and they're different on the back. This is so cute. So we have three villains. In case you guys didn't know, I collect villain things. My entire top shelf is villain Funko Pops, like just of varying stories and whatnot. I just, I love little villains. I love villain stories. They're my favorite. So these are so precious to me. We just have little Disney villains. We have the Queen of Hearts, Maleficent, and what is this? The Evil Queen from Snow White. Does she have a name? I'm blanking on it right now. But on the back, we have their counterparts. So we have the card of Queen of Hearts. We have what's her face, dragon in face person from Maleficent. And then we have the old witch with the apple. Oh my goodness, this is so, oh. I love this. This is so cute. Okay, the next thing in there is quite large and it's in this bag and it feels metally, but it looks like a book. So I'm intrigued. Ooh, this is beautiful. What is this? The quotes from the cool prince. Yes. What is this? This is a box. Oh, ooh, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'll give you guys close ups of this. I just kind of want to ogle it for a second. So this is a little like tin book shaped box that you can open up and store things in, but it has quotes from Holly Black all over it. So this just has quotes. I don't know if you guys will be able, oh, there we go. Maybe you'll be able to read all of the quotes this way. So this is the front of the tin. The spine is gorgeous. It has like roses along the spine and then it has a different quote. Oh, can you read that? I hope you guys can read that on the back. And then when you open it, it has a quote on the inside too, and it's just, oh my gosh, this is honestly stunning. I love this so much. I love the Cruel Prince so much, and just look at, like, there's so much detail. This, I think, is from Stella Bookish, who I think they've worked with before, and I just, 
Oh man, and it has like the rose stuff all the way around at the outside. This, and it has a little crown there because you know, Cruel Prince. Oh man, I, mm, favorite item in the box so far. This is so cool. The next thing in there is the Royal Assassin Tea Towel, an Owl Crate exclusive. What? I gotta open this to see what it is. Oh man, I already see Sarah J Maas. I'm gonna need to, there we go. So you know I'm gonna love this. Let me, let me take a look, see. She had often wished for adventure for old spells and wicked kings, throne of glass. Oh my goodness, look at that. Can you see how amazing this is? I loved this. Can we agree that I'm still trash with Sarah J Maas? Like, it's not gonna change. It has a little owl crate tag, so it's like an exclusive owl crate item. I love this. This is possibly one of my favorite boxes from them of all time. I, I'm loving everything so far. The next thing in there is a art print quote from Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows, which I still need to read. I know. It's been one of my most anticipated reads since it came out and it's been out for like a year or two now and I still haven't read it. But it says, I wanted freedom in the same way I wanted my next breath, an unspoken but constant desire. And on the back it just has like the cover. I've been wanting to read this for so long. I really need to. Maybe this will inspire me to because that's a pretty great quote. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're down to the book and I just saw the cover. This is one of their covers that they changed the whole cover. Like they didn't just change like the color pattern or color scheme. They actually have a brand new cover on it. And I was so excited to see what they did with this book because I totally knew what book it was. I think everybody knew what book it is. And I didn't love the cover, but take a look at that. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm done. So obviously the book is Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. I love this cover. I'm just staring at it in the viewfinder. I love this cover so much. Oh my gosh. So it also comes with a bookmark, which in case you guys didn't know, the original cover looked like this. Like it had one face here and it had the other face there. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, which is cool. It looked cool. It looked like menacing kind of because you had two like half faces looking at you. But I just, I'm not a huge fan of faces, like real faces on covers. This is like stunning though. Okay. So it came with a bookmark and it came, oh, this is what the actual cover looked like. There you go. I didn't really need to do the bookmark thing, but this is the letter. Oh man, this is so cool. And as they're doing, I think from now on out, the book is signed and it has like a little like signature page, which is awesome. I can't handle this cover. This cover is like so great. Oh, it's on the spine too. It has a little like flaming rose on the spine and there's flames on the back. Ah. Uh. That's so cool. Oh, there it is. I found this month's pin. It was at the very bottom. So we had like the dark evil queen as this month's little pin. And then as always in the bottom of the box, we get their little magazine thing that gives a lot of information about the book. See the cover difference there? Just look at it. Oh man, this one is so much better. I'm so glad that I got this. And just fun stuff, word searches. If you like this book, here are other ones that you might like. Things from like featured vendors who are in the box. And next month's theme is Masters of Disguise. Sounds awesome, but what I'm really, really excited about is I just watched a live stream where they talked about something that's coming in the September box, which is this one, and it said if you really liked everybody's favorite item from Owlcrate that they've ever put out with, the Forbidden Forest mug, which I have right here. This is like possibly my favorite thing that I've gotten in their boxes. I just adore this mug so much. And they are getting an exclusive item from that artist. I hope it's another mug. I Even if it's not, I like her art style, so I'll still like it, but God, I hope it's another mug. I'll be so excited for it. So that is everything that came in this month's box. This one, ooh, this one might be my favorite one that they've done. I really, really liked the, the month that came with Heart of Iron because it had the sprayed pages and everything was purple in that box, but everything is gorgeous. Like, oh man, these little bookmarks and this little book tin, I actually, really genuinely like every item that came in this. That is it. If you guys want to help a sister out, I have my referral page linked down below if you guys would like to purchase next month's box. I highly recommend it. It looks amazing and if you want to get possibly a mug, something from that artist, definitely check it out. I will leave that linked down below. It really helps my channel out if you click that and I really appreciate it. So that is everything that came in the August Ruthless Royals Owl Crate box. I hope you guys enjoy this unboxing and I'll see you guys in my next one.